listeners, and welcome to the third program in our series, Let's Learn Computer Studies, which is produced for grade 10 and 11, and anybody else who has an interest in the subject. My name is Mr. Shilongo. Today, we are going to learn about system life cycle. Please have a pen and a notebook ready so that you can make notes of the important points. Before we start with our program, it is important to know the stages that are involved in the system life cycle, which are analysis, design, development, testing, documentation, implementation, and installation, evaluation, and maintenance. However, today we are just going to look at the last four stages or phases of the system life cycle. And note that when we are talking about a system, we are referring to the software. At the end of this program, you should be able to describe each stage of the system life cycle. Documentation, implementation and installation, evaluation and maintenance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, Matthew. Good afternoon, Kasongo. Where have you been all this time? Ah, I'm busy with my coursework, which is due next month. I'm at the end of the last four stages and I don't understand those stages. My teacher traveled and I do not know whom to ask for help. What are those stages of faces? I'm struggling with documentation, implementation and evaluation and what's that other one? Ah, uh, maintenance. I really don't know where to start. Hmm. Where are your class notes or summary about your coursework? The day Mr. Shilongo explained I was absent and the day I came back to school, he already traveled. Ah, don't worry. I'm going to help you. Let's go inside my house and discuss about it. Ah, Matthew, that's great, man. Let's go. Take this pen and a notebook. Please write the important points that we are about to discuss. I hope you will listen very carefully and please feel free to ask where you do not understand. We start with documentation. At this stage, you need to give an explanation about a system functionality and maintenance. This will help the people who are going to work with the system. Documentation exists in two main types user documentation and technical documentation. User documentation. It focuses on the user, gives the information and instructions on what a certain command or function does and steps to follow to achieve a certain task. Example, how to save files or how to print the information from the system. Technical documentation is based on the design specification of the system. It will help those who shall do maintenance of the system in the future. Example, the type of languages that was used for coding the system. These documents, are they the same as the manual booklets that come with televisions or any other household appliances when you buy? Yes, but those booklets are only user documentation and not technical documentation. The next step is implementation and installations. At this stage is where a new system is installed and replace the current system. The system has to be run in the actual environment which is called operational environment or productive environment. Hmm, is this my last stage since I'm installing the system? No, but it is initially the final stage of development where the software is put into production and runs an actual business. There are two more stages that you need to perform. Evaluation and maintenance. Evaluation is the overall assessment of the new system to verify that it meets all the requirements and user objectives and give the expected benefits. At this stage, you examine and look at the aspects of the development effort and the end product. The most effective time for evaluation is six months later or even a year later. 
Why should I evaluate six months or a year later? Ah, this is because if it's too soon to evaluate immediately after you have implemented the system, the user might not have fully mastered the new system's strength and weakness. How am I going to evaluate the system? The same fact-finding methods used during the system analysis stage are also used for system evaluation. For example, key users and management are used. Users and computer personnel need to be observed as they work with the new system. Questionnaires are used to gather information and sentiments from different people. The overall final stage is maintenance. Here the system that you are creating needs some maintenance to keep it working properly. It is done to fix problems which did not show up until the system was used. In simple terms, maintenance involves servicing, keeping the functional information system running properly and improving it through lifetime. Then you are done with our project. Oh, now I understand the system life cycle stages. Today I learned four stages of life cycles which are Documentation, which explains a system's functionality and maintenance. Implementation and installation, producing the new system by setting everything up on the computer. Evaluation, checking how well the system performs all the tasks it was designed to carry out. Maintenance, changing the stem to fix problems, adapt to changing requirements and add improvements. And that brings us to the end of today's program. This program was written by Caroline Ileka. Until next time, stay safe, stay home, and sanitize. This program was brought to you by NAMCOL with funding from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, and the Commonwealth of Learning.